last year. And you got that. It was like 18, 20 lanes of traffic in winter. It's crazy. But you can see everyone's on the move. We have the sunshine right now. Spring is in full swing, and winter was uh, long and has people really ready for a break. Yeah, and some people really want that cabin fever to get yes. out there, perhaps for an adventure as well. If you're hitting the road, it's important to make sure that your vehicle is in top running condition, especially people traveling for spring break. Yeah. And I know just the right person for this topic, our car coach, Lauren Fix. <laughs> And she joins Hello. us from Buffalo. Good morning. And you have some tips Good. as we have National Car Care Month can kick off tomorrow. Yes, I'm very excited. That means I can take the covers off of all my summer cars and actually drive them <laughs> on the road. We're just waiting for the rain to come to wash the salt off the road because mm. what it does is the cars that we're driving every day, the salt just builds up underneath. It sits in the frame rails and the fuel lines, the brake lines. And those are safety things. Those are part of your car. So if you're not sure, gee, you know, the car's running weird, I got a check engine light and I kind of been putting it off, now's the time to find an ASC certified technician and get a professional look at it or do it yourself. You can do it. It's very empowering. <laughs> Another thing people want to do is perhaps uh, get ready for road trips. We got spring mm -hmm. break, people traveling for the Easter holiday. Now we're getting to the spring weather. Is there things you need to perhaps switch out in your emergency kit that should be different from winter now going into spring? Well, I think you can put your snow brush and ice scraper away, except for those few cities you've been talking about that it still isn't over with yet. But for the rest of the country, it's time to put that away, take off your winter floor mats, put in your nice carpeted summer floor mats, and wash your car and clean it up. But don't forget to check your tires. No matter whether you're driving a little Mini Cooper or a big truck, you still need to check the only four things that touch the ground, which is your tires. And when you're there, if you see a bubble on the sidewall from hitting that pothole or maybe pulling into that parking bumper and hitting it every day. That actually damages the tires, and that also may mean that you need a front end alignment. So this is the time to do it because it keeps your tires alive. The fact is they're, they're a couple hundred dollars a tire, and you certainly don't want to have them worn out or bald or have a problem. And then also check the nine different fluids that are in the cars and add washer fluid. You know, if you're not sure what you're doing, get someone to do it. If you can do it yourself, that's great. And if, to save money, do what's in your owner's manual. If it says change oil, do it. If it's a timing chain or anything mechanical, get that done. That's not the stuff you want to wait on, but follow the owner's manual. It'll give you a good clue unless something's damaged. And Lauren, one last question. It's not a winter storm in South. It's a pollen storm. Is it the same <laughs> idea where you want to wash that off right away, kind of like yes. salt, or do you want to sit out and wait for it to all be done? Well, uh, Kelly was talking about pollen and writing on it. Don't write on dirty paint or on pollen-covered cars. It'll actually scratch the clear coat. Pollen will actually seep through and destroy the clear coat on your car, and you are responsible whether you lease it or own it. Yes, run it through the car wash, wash it yourself. The worst thing you can do is take a rag and smear it because it'll actually scratch the clear coat. So run it through a car wash, get it cleaned, wash it yourself, hose it off, and put a good coat of wax on so that you will protect that paint. Hey, you can burn 200 calories an hour by waxing your own car. Get wax the family on. involved. I learned, I, just in that last 30 seconds, Lauren, I learned so much. I had no idea Pollen could do that. I really hadn't thought yes. about it. Wax on, Amazing. wax off, Mr. Miyagi. Exactly. <laughs> yes, Lauren, yes. Lauren Fix, you're awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, cheers to spring someday in Buffalo for you. <laughs> yes, <finally. laughs> Good luck with all that snow melt that's yeah. going on there as well. Hey.